What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's good. Uh, Adam Calhoun just made a video and I respect Adam's uh, opinion. Uh, he's an OG and uh, you know he knows what real shit is. So uh, I want to hear what he has to say about 6 9 So what we're going to do is you're going to subscribe if you're not. And then we're going to react to it. So let's go guys. Let's do this. Adam Calhoun, a real one, probably talking real shit. Let's go. Hi friends. What the fuck did we do? I didn't. Some of you all raised some straight up fuck boys. We are glorifying rats now? Snitches? If there is a street code? There is a street code. Not only with gangs, but with men. It's all about respect, integrity, and loyalty. Right? If there is a street code and there's something so so called as loyalty and everything and no snitching and all of that no snitching no tattletelling none of that bullshit my dad taught me that and then after my Amen. dad left and all that they got divorced my mom enforced the rules no snitching you want to yeah. play with the big boys don't come crying to me when you get fucking hurt but where was the loyalty when you were sleeping with my baby mother where was the loyalty when you was caught on the wiretap trying to kill me where was the loyalty when you tried to kidnap my mother where was the loyalty when you were stealing millions of dollars from me where was that dog little boy you chose that life. <laughs> you chose that world. Yeah. You signed up for that shit. Kidnapped you, whatever, to your mom. That's all part of the game, dog. If that's what they did to you, it then is. you retaliate. You don't retaliate by going and fucking snitching like a little girl. Why don't you submit that you were scared? Scared of doing time. Scared of getting being someone's little bitch in prison. Why don't you submit that shit instead of making all these little excuses on why you did what you did? That is the street code and if you're getting fucked with then what do you do you retaliate you kill people who are fucking with you that's gangs right now i was never in gangs when we were growing up my mom and dad told us you got each other you got your friends you got your brother one thing i want to say too is uh uh you know six nine he waited till the feds to, to you know what i mean he should have retaliated the first thing first time something happened the kidnapping anything he kept going along with the shit he didn't uh, do that flip until the FBI got to him. You know what I mean? If if he was smart he and people did something like that to him and he's running the show money-wise, you fucking deal with it, man. You you run the show. But no, he just kept going like and, and being the whipping boy. He just kept it going. He could have changed that and kept his shit intact. Friends, you got your brothers. And I still know this. If someone fucks with us, we're going to go fuck with them. If someone's fucking with me and doing me wrong, I'm going to go inflict pain or do something and fuck with them. I ain't calling the cops to come over to my house. Someone's picking on me. So what Never. is wrong with all these millions of fucking kids who are cheering this dude on like he's some type of hero, the king of New York? Bro, you, you are fucking in hiding right now. If they have to move you from location to location. You have security. This dude, you ever going to do a show? Hell no. 6 9 oh. will never do a show. I'm saying it right here, right now. You can't do a show. This kid's going to get plucked off. If this was the 90s or early 2000s, you have already been dead. You motherfuckers don't know the yes. rules these days. If your friend's getting jumped and you stand by and just watch, you're a bitch. If you're yeah. the type of dude yeah. that dates your good friend's ex, you're a bitch. If you're yeah. a dude that comes back and tells your guy, yo, these dudes were talking shit about you. And you didn't punch them in the motherfucking mouth while he wasn't there, you're a bitch. If you your it. boy comes back and says, yo, bro, your girl's been hitting on me and like trying to get me to like f hit it, and you get in your feelings and get mad at your boy, you're a bitch. I don't care what anyone's saying, like, oh man, you just hating, he's Coats. doing good. No, I, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, and I'm doing it standing up as a man. Amen. This dude, how long are you gonna live with all that gay ass jewelry you bought and however much money you got? How you how long are you gonna live? though your life is in jeopardy you got to live scared the rest of your life i'm making money and i can live knowing that i have loyalty respect integrity i'd rather have a couple million dollars beautiful and live shit. standing up on my feet than have a couple hundred million dollars and die on my knees somewhere in a puddle because you're it's a gonna bitch. happen i'm adam calhoun stop glorifying rats snitching ain't cool and six nine you ain't got much time bro there are still real killers out there. Yes. Sooner or later. Bye, rat. <laughs> Yo, man. Yo, that just got me hyped up. That just got me hyped up, Adam. I'm glad I watched this, guys. Everything he said is true, man. He, he's talking code by the book here. And what's 6 9 going to do? I thought about this. How is he going to do shows? How is he going to uh, uh, maneuver and get around? He can't. Someone's going to... 
Someone's going to get them. And then say maybe a year or two goes by, people forget, shit calms down. Well, that person didn't forget. He's waiting there. Click, click. You know what I mean? It's the inedible. This guy's not going to be able to get out there. He's going to be doing singles and shit. He ain't going to be showing up the Grammy Award. Like, you know what I mean? This guy ain't going to be able to maneuver as an artist. There's no way. Too many people want him. And it's the big guys, the big guns, the, the smarter ones that are going to... Dude, if they can kill the president and they can kill this person and that person, 6 9 can get killed. You know what I mean? Anyways, guys... It's going to be interesting to see what happens, man. Let's see what happens. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure something, I'm sure, like, things are going to continue. It's no way. Unless he doesn't do anything anymore, there's no way this is quieted it down. And uh, uh, I heard he had to move twice. So, you know what I mean? He's already being moved around like crazy. Let's see what happens. That ain't no life, man. He put on the big flex, but... I don't know. Let's see, guys, to be continued. I think that's the best way to put it. Anyways, I'm Noble. That was Adam Calhoun. That's our opinions. We out. Thanks, guys.